One Cleveland man is making a unique charitable donation. He's giving away all of his bobbleheads to the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum. He has more than 1,500 of them, as a matter of fact. Our C New Yorker spent the day with him and his bobbleheads, getting answers on why he <laughs> is letting them go. So, yeah. This is such a great story. There's yeah. a good reason why Bob Manick is getting rid of his beloved bobbleheads, and it has nothing to do with money. He's sick, and he wants others to enjoy what he says is one of his most valuable possessions. I'm a bobblehead. <laughs> He's affectionately known as Bobblehead Bob. One only has to look around him to see why. I love my little bobbleheads. They're my family. The 57-year-old native Clevelander started collecting in the 90s and says 20 years later, they're some of his most valuable possessions. At last count, he had more than 1,500. I don't remember because I never knew what I would collect all these years, you know. But now he's getting rid of them. Bob tells me he has complications from colon cancer, so he's donating all of them to the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum in Milwaukee. 100 years from now, some of us say, oh, somebody like Robert Manick gave up this brownie. Isn't that cool? He hasn't changed in 100 years. They're still 0 and 16. <laughs> <laughs> the Bobblehead Museum says it's the largest single donation it's ever received and the most diverse. Aside from the sports, the Browns, the Cavs, the Indians, uh, just... Uh, I, where, I, don't, I don't know where it begins, it's just <laughs> comics, mm -hmm. you know, the movies, all of those. He's been preparing for weeks to send his beloved bobbleheads away. Boxes and crates block his front door. And then there's the Excel spreadsheets. He has to keep everything organized. Did you find you had duplicates? Uh, that's when I found out I had a lot of duplicates, about 100 duplicates. He told me he knows he could get good money for some of these rare pieces, but he says you can't put a price tag on the joy these bobbleheads have brought him, and he wants others to know that feeling. I don't want them in somebody's man cave or sold for a quarter piece of weather. I can't take it with me. Oh, don't you wow. just love it? It's amazing, and and oh. his uh, his guy that from the bobblehead Hall of Fame, he was uh, he was so oh. he was excited as he was. Oh, amazing. he was. Oh, yeah. such a such a giving and a good person. Very nice. Yeah. Great stories. Thank yeah. you.